As I've said, my name is Douglas Campbell and I'm the Project Officer for Aberdeen City Heritage Trust. And it's my privilege to round up things officially uh, and close the conference today. I'm sure you would all agree it's been a fantastic event today, really informative and inspiring. Uh, and it probably jogged a few memories along the way too. It tackled the themes from a variety of interesting perspectives and hopefully there was something there for you and left me certainly wanting to go off and find out even more information. We'll all have our own particular highlights from the day, but the things which have resonated with me today, uh, the design quality of the Art Deco cinema architecture, uh, which regrettably only really became appreciated in the last quarter of the 20th century, and too late for what were often simple buildings responding to ever-changing technological and social needs. A pity so many of those have gone. The geometries and the associated graphic decoration in some of those examples is quite spectacular. Then there's the richness of the archival material which exists in Scotland and further afield and how this can be used effectively to interpret and appreciate buildings. The fantastic research that's still going on in this field and uh, it would be lovely to see more of that coming through. The richness of personal experience as well associated with cinema and theatre, which I think came through strongly. And the contrast between historic archive materials and the materials that are currently being produced to further our understanding of the historic built environment. What today has shown is that there is much to learn and cherish about theatre and cinema buildings and its associated art and culture. It is an acute reminder that buildings and places are ultimately about people, our memories and indeed our identity. Life's experiences make us who we are and we can all point to the first film or theatre production we saw or in some cases a regular routine of visiting the cinema on a Saturday morning or afternoon growing up and we can recall the richness that these experiences have and can bring to our lives. It's perhaps poignant to consider places of meeting and gathering and socialising at the current time and a sharp reminder that we really should not take such things for granted. We underestimate the importance of the arts too in their widest sense and associated buildings and performance environments at our peril. We need to make the most of the fantastic facilities that survive when it becomes safe to do so again. Despite modern day technology, there is still something quite special about the immediacy and interactivity of meeting together and sharing the experience of artistic and creative expression through film or performance. More generally, our historic built environment in Aberdeen is a tremendous resource, embodying the energy and creative creativity of previous generations and a platform, even a stage, within which sustainable post-pandemic recovery and revitalisation can surely be progressed. I'd like to say a few words of thanks on behalf of the City Heritage Trust. At first, I'd like to thank the library service at the City for organising today's event. It has been great to work alongside a very enthusiastic team. The event is the first time the Trust has collaborated with the Council in this way, and we would certainly be interested in exploring similar events in the future. Thanks to Ten Feet Tall Theatre for seeing us through the day with their own particular panache. Thanks to all the speakers who have been involved today, from the personal reminiscences of the Lord Provost at the beginning of the day, through to an amazing presentation on what is possible with modern digital recording technology from Dr. Wilson at the end. Thanks again to all the sponsors and exhibitors for the contribution to the event. I've certainly enjoyed reviewing the materials in the virtual stalls, and there's still an opportunity to go back and check out their information. Please do that. On behalf of Aberdeen City Heritage Trust, we would particularly like to thank Historic Environment Scotland and Aberdeen City Council again for the continuing support of the City Heritage Trust and its activities. Finally, my thanks to everybody for attending this virtual conference. We cannot hold such events without your interest and support, so thank you for signing up for today. Keep an eye on the various media outlets of the City Council, its library service, the City Heritage Trust and Historic Environment Scotland for details of future talks, presentations and events relating to history and the historic built environment. And with that, I am pleased to bring the conference to a close. Thanks for attending.
and we look forward to seeing you at the next event.